What's up guys, I'm Tom Malone, this is Malone Post, and today's video we're going to be looking at the Brada water resistant sport silicone watch. You know the way they do with all these kind of uh, these watches, they have super long names. Um, so the easiest thing is really just, if you wanna check out this watch, it'll be linked in the description down below. You can pick it up through there as well. It's a really reasonable price actually. Okay, so like we normally do, let's start with the case, let's start with the face and see what we're working with here. Now this is gonna be like any other like sporty water resistant watch here. So on the top here, it kind of tells you everything about the different dials on the inside. Some of it is a little tricky to read. So instead of having like normal features, they have like little symbols and stuff. So when you, if you just wanna pick this up and you have other like sport watches, you just wanna start wearing it and like use the timers and stuff. It's gonna take you a little bit to figure out all those. So it's not as easy from that perspective. Having said that, everything on here does actually work proper once you take the time to figure it out. So we do have a pretty dim light on here. It's not the highest of quality light that you can see. We definitely have had brighter, but we've also had some that don't work at all. So that is good to see. You have your seconds, your days counter, you can reset, you can start your stopwatch. All those features on here do work. And I actually do like that it has all those as digital features, whereas the normal watch itself is analog here. So I kind of like the mix between those two. And because everything is dark and gray in the back, the way that they put the little bit of white on the hour and minute hand and actually help it stand out and make it really easy to read. So from the top perspective, it does look really good. Now looking at the back here, you can see it's basically just held on with four screws, which is pretty standard. They're small, they don't get in the way of your wrist. Feels pretty comfortable. On the back, it does say water resistant for three ATM. Now do I ever trust the water resistance with these watches? No, because there's more expensive watches that are having the same thing at times. And with some of these cheap ones, you don't really know how truthful they're being with everything about this watch. So I don't ever like really put it to the paces in that way. But having said that, if you took it in water and it did break, it's only a couple bucks, so you could really pick up a new one and just kind of learn your lesson that way. And that doesn't really bug me too much. So overall, the face is good. The case is really nice. I do like the colors. It's actually a really nice, consistent brushed finish on the top. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just like a really nice, like alloy gray color. So from a design perspective, I actually really like this watch and a couple other people in our office do too. Now, looking at the band on here, it's it's okay. There's definitely had better. However, we have 100% had work. And it feels like that's kind of the theme of this video, right? It's pretty decent. We've had some better stuff, but some stuff that's just been like catastrophically terrible. And this kind of falls in the middle here. So it does have a little nice feature here where you can see it does open up. So it does conform to your wrist and stay nice and tight. To the case here, they have some little pieces on the inside here that help make a contour to your wrist a little bit better. They do have a couple different textures on the band here as well. So they have like a stippled, they have a smooth, and it looks really good and consistent on here. Now, when you're wearing this watch, the only thing I'm not a really big fan of, and that's like, with most of these like cheaper watches is gonna be this buckle here. This buckle here is a stamped aluminum of some kind. It's very cheap, it's very flimsy, and it's not something I really want to rely on. Also, with a watch like this, if you see this strap is like decently long on here. So if I put this on and through here, this strap is, is pretty long. Now, normally with watches like this, I like to see two smaller straps so you can lock it down right after the buckle and then lock it down where it ends. This one is kind of just one really thick one on here. So it's sometimes if it moves its way down, you're left with with like this big tag sticking out. So that'd be one thing I'd like to change is make that into two smaller ones. That way it's a little bit easier to control. Overall, would I wear this watch? Yeah, I'd wear it. I'd kind of limit it to like a casual daily use though. The reason being, if you did want to use this in like a sporty atmosphere, I don't really trust the water resistance of it. If I'm doing something like a hike or a sporting activity, I'm bending my wrist, I'm grabbing things, I'm moving a lot. I don't trust this buckle not to break on me in that and I'm left like left like carrying this watch. So this would be something I would use on like a daily basis to go out, grab coffee, do simple things around town without actually being like super, super active. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now, don't forget if you did like today's video, go ahead, hit that like button. And that lets us know exactly what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Also subscribe. We put up tons of cool videos like this all the time. Again, my name is Tom Malone. This is Malone Post. Thanks for watching.